Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm going to show you how to easily get Emulation Station up and running on your Steam Deck. We're going to be using a version of Emulation Station known as Emulation Station DE, short for Desktop Edition. And there is an app image available for the Steam Deck. It works out really well. But we're going to be pairing this up with another application known as EMU Deck, which automatically downloads and configures all of your emulators. It also creates a game directory for us that can then be used with Emulation Station DE. It's actually really easy to set up and development on both of these apps is basically full speed ahead. So new stuff is popping up all the time, but I figured I'd go ahead and do a tutorial on it because this is really awesome and it does make emulation on the Steam Deck much easier. And in my opinion, just an overall better experience. Now, before we get started here, I do want to mention that both of these applications have a full README or an FAQ over on their website, and I would highly recommend reading through both of them. I'll leave links for both of the FAQs in the description. Make sure you read through it. And I'd also like to mention that no games are included with any of this that I'm going to show you in the video. So here's the deal. You will need a few things. Obviously, you'll need a Steam Deck. Second thing I highly recommend is a micro SD card. This is going to make life a lot easier. If you have to use the internal storage, you can, but this tutorial is based on using a micro SD card. And if you've never used an SD card with the Steam Deck, insert it into the micro SD card slot, head over to your system settings and format the card. This is going to format it correctly for the Steam Deck and we'll be able to use it from there. It will make life a lot easier. So if you got that set up, we're going to head to power and we need to go to desktop mode. So we're going to get there from here. Another thing that's going to make everything a lot easier is plugging in a mouse and keyboard or using a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. You can use the trackpad and on-screen keyboard if you'd like to, but using an external setup just makes it a lot easier to navigate the operating system. So if you're ready to get started, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to plug this into my game capture so we can get a better look at everything. All right, so now we're in desktop mode on the Steam Deck and it really doesn't get any simpler than this. Uh, first things first, I'm going to check my storage. I'm using a micro SD card and I would highly recommend using a micro SD card. Once it's installed in the Steam Deck and formatted correctly, when you move over to desktop mode, it will be your primary storage. So this is my 400 gigabyte micro SD card and this is where I'm going to store all of my games. Speaking of games, there are none included whatsoever, so you will need to source them yourself. We're going to go ahead and download two applications. First one being EMU Deck. They've changed the steps on this to make it even easier. We're going to go to download and we have two options. Like I mentioned, I'm using a micro SD card, so I'm going to download the SD card version. And really, I would highly recommend using this, but you can use internal storage if you really need to. I'm going to go with the SD card version. It's going to download and go into my downloads folder. I want to save file. So that's now downloaded. Next thing we want to do is get Emulation Station DE or Desktop Edition from their website. It will be linked in the description. We're going to scroll down to the Steam Deck app image. We're going to grab this. Again, we're going to save it to our downloads folder. Once both of them are finished downloading, we can close our browser. We're going to open up our file explorer. We're going to head to our downloads folder. And we have both of those applications we just downloaded. First one being EMU Deck. This is the SD card version. Double click, execute, continue. It's going to open up console or terminal for us. It's going to download all of the files we need. Plus, it's going to install the emulators and it's going to set them up for us. We don't have to go to the Discovery Software Center and download any of these applications. It's also going to create a ROMs folder on our micro SD card because I'm using the micro SD card version. When it comes to RetroArch, it's going to download all of the cores. It's going to configure the controls for us and everything like that. I mean, this is a really awesome set of software for the Steam Deck. Now it's going to give us a little bit of information. So if you want to use EMU Deck by itself, I would highly recommend following their guide on their website. You would use Steam ROM Manager to download all of the artwork for your games. But since we're going to be using Emulation Station in conjunction with this, we don't need that ROM Manager installed. So we're going to close this window down. And now we're going to head to our primary storage. Again, this is my micro SD card and we have a new folder that was automatically created called emulation. Inside of here, we have our BIOS folder and our ROMs folder. From the ROMs folder, you're going to place your games in the correct folder. Really easy to follow along with. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer a few games just to show you that process. So what I'm going to do is just snap this over to the left hand side. This is going to be my micro SD card. 
I'm going to plug in a USB drive that has some games on it that I can easily transfer over. Real quick, an easy way to fill everything up is to actually just take this emulation folder and copy it to an external drive, move over to the PC you have all of your games on, and put them in the correct location. That way, all you need to do is transfer that one folder back over here and you're good to go. Or you can just plug in a drive to the Steam Deck itself and find the corresponding games that you want to transfer over. For instance, here's my PlayStation folder. On my micro SD card, I'm gonna go ahead and find my PSX folder. I'm gonna take these, move them over, and I wanna copy them here. I don't wanna move them here because they'll be deleted from that other spot. We'll do one more. PS2, find my PS2 folder on my micro SD card, and I'll just transfer these over, and so on and so on. So once you're finished transferring all of your ROMs over, we can go ahead and start up Emulation Station for the first time. Now that we have our games transferred over, we do need to throw some BIOSes in here. I've just got a BIOS pack that I use for RetroArch. I'm going to move it right over here. So we've got our BIOSes and our ROMs right here on our micro SD card. And now, once we're finished transferring all of that over, we can actually start up Emulation Station DE. I actually like to take this and just put it right on my desktop just for easy access. So I'm going to go ahead and move it here. This is the Emulation Station DE app image that we downloaded from their website. We're going to double click, continue. It's going to load our system config. And since we're using that micro SD card version of EMU deck, it's already set up ready to go. Now we don't have any artwork for these games, but if we scroll through, you can see that we placed the games that we transferred over in the correct folders and they're going to show right up in Emulation Station Desktop Edition. Really, really easy to do. Now if we go into one of these folders, you'll see that we've got our games, but there's no artwork. Let's just go ahead and start one up real quick. Let's go with uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. It's going to launch the game for us. And for Genesis, it's going to use RetroArch. We've got the bezels on the side. I just went ahead and skipped into some gameplay. The controls on the Steam Deck are already mapped. Everything looks great on the built-in Steam Deck screen. You can also do this over HDMI if you want to, USB Type-C to HDMI. In order to exit the game, start and select our hotkeys. It'll bring us back into Emulation Station. And to exit Emulation Station, just press Start. Now we're just gonna quit Emulation Station and we're gonna add this to Steam. So when we're in gaming mode on the Steam Deck, we can get to Emulation Station very easily. So we're gonna make sure we have Steam up and running in desktop mode. It should automatically load right up for us. So we're gonna start up Steam here. It should already be started up in the background. We're gonna go to Games, Add Non-Steam Game to My Library. From here, we're gonna go to Browse. From here, you need to find your home deck I've placed mine on my desktop. If you have it in your downloads folder, obviously it'll be in downloads. But since mine's on my desktop, we're gonna choose it from here, but we can't see it yet. We need to make sure all files is chosen. Then it'll show right up. So now we have the Emulation Station DE Edition. Open, add selected programs. And if we go down a list here, you'll see that we have Emulation Station added. Before we move back over to gaming mode, I do want to show you how to add artwork to Steam for Emulation Station DE. We're going to start up Steam. It should already be loaded up for you. Over here, we've got Emulation Station DE. It's got a pretty long name, so if we right-click on it, Properties, we can actually rename it from here. I'm just going to go with Emulation Station DE. We'll close this down. Now we want to add a little bit of artwork. So what we're going to do is scroll down to find what's known as our posters for our game. So these are all the games I have in my Steam library. Emulation Station DE. And from here we can change this poster to make it look a little better. If you want to download one, you can head over to the Steam Grid database or Steam Grid DB. Search for Emulation Station. And uh, here's a poster that we can download right here. Right click, save image. I'm just going to put it in my pictures section. And if you're downloading a bunch of these, just make sure you rename them. So I'm just going to go with poster. Now I'm just going to grab like a banner image. Uh, this can consist of two different images. It's really up to you how you want to do this. But I'm going to save this image. 
I'm just going to name this back because it's going to be my background. And I'm going to go ahead and download this one right here. I'm just going to name this front. I mean, you can name it whatever you want. just makes it a little easier on me. So now we'll find Emulation Station DE. We want to change this poster. Right click, manage, set custom artwork. I'm going to navigate to my home deck. I've saved my images in my pictures folder. I've got my poster right here. There we have it. It'll show up. Uh, if we choose it from the left hand side here, right click, set custom background. We've got the back. Right click, set custom logo, front, and there we have it. So it looks a little better here. It's not necessary, but it definitely cleans everything up. So I'm finished installing Emulation Station on the Steam Deck. We can actually start playing our games right now, but there's a couple things I'd like to show you. We're going to move back over to gaming mode, so we'll choose this. And now that we're back in gaming mode, since we added Emulation Station to Steam, it's going to be in our non-Steam items. We'll go ahead and launch it from here. So right into the box, it looks pretty good, but we can make this look a little better. If I head over to PlayStation 1, you'll see I've got my games listed here, but I don't have any artwork. Uh, it's just pretty plain. So what we need to do is scrape some images. If we press Start on our Steam Deck, it'll bring up our main menu. Very first option, Scraper. There's a few ways to go about this. I would highly recommend using Screen Scraper, but you can use the Games DB if you want to. With Screen Scraper, you can always sign in with a free account. So if you head over to their website, you can create a free account and sign in from here. Content settings, lots of customization here. You can disable videos if you don't want to download them. I'm just going to leave everything checked here. Mix image settings and other settings. One thing that I would recommend turning off is interactive mode. This will allow the Screen Scraper to go through this automatically for the games it knows are correct. So we're going to back up. And for this, I'm just going to go ahead and scrape one just to make it quick, but you can always go to the bottom, select all. I'm just going to go with um, Game Boy Advance. So we'll do that. I'm going to back up, screen scraper, all games. I've got one system selected. We're going to start. So it's going to go through the process, find the correct images and videos if you have that chosen, and download them for us. It scraped all of those games successfully. So if I back up here, I'm going to find Game Boy Advance, and there you have it. So we've got some really nice artwork here. Just makes it a lot easier. And since I did the videos, they'll also show up. You can disable those if you want to. But yeah, I mean, this is a really nice little setup here. I've already went through and scraped a few of these uh, systems. Does take a little while, but it's worth it in the end. This is the stock Emulation Station DE theme, but there's one other that we can choose from here, and in the future, I'm sure that a lot of these themes will be ported over and work correctly. I've tested a few from like RetroPie's Emulation Station and had a few issues, but now that this is getting off the ground with the Steam Deck, I'm sure a lot of people will be making some really awesome custom themes. From the main menu, UI settings, theme set, we have Modern DE. So we'll just back up, Gives it a nice little modern look. And if you don't like that slide effect, start, UI, we can go to instant or you can go to fade. Personally, I like instant, just goes right through it. Really nice little setup here on the Steam Deck. Loving this, very easy to set up. And that's about it. I mean, best thing you can do now, is start playing your favorite retro games on the Steam Deck using Emulation Station Desktop Edition. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. There's a lot of advanced configuration that can go on with Emulation Station. And if you've ever messed around with RetroPie, Botocera, or Recall Box on the Raspberry Pi, then you're very familiar with this. But there's a lot coming down the line when it comes to emulation on the Steam Deck, and I'll definitely be covering it. But if you run into any issues, I would highly recommend reading through the FAQs on EMU Deck's website and the Emulation Station DE website. I really hope you at least try this out on your Steam Deck because it does make emulation just a lot better on this handheld device. And, you know, if you do come up with some themes that are working on the Steam Deck, let us know in the comments below. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. It'd be really cool if you could hit that subscribe button, maybe turn notifications on so you know when I post the next one. But like always, thanks for watching.